Hi, I'm Dave with Equalizer Hitch. Today we have a quick video for you. We're going to show you how to unhitch and to couple up or, or hitch your Equalizer Hitch. Yeah, I say that three times fast. <laughs> but it's a kind of a different process if you're used to having just a ball mount that you tow with and you change, you get a travel trailer or a new trailer and you upgrade to a weight distribution hitch. The process of hitching and unhitching is slightly different. And we're gonna go over that today and make it simple for you. Now, the first thing that you wanna do, of course, is chalk your trailer. We've done that. The next thing is, assume we've come home with our brand new travel trailer from our RV dealership. We're gonna drop it off at our house. We have, they've set it all up for us at the dealership to bring home. We've got our equalizer hitch engaged with the weight distribution on, the sway control. And now we're ready to take it off. This process, in a typical, with using a ball mount, you would just stop where you're gonna go uh, drop the tongue jack and raise the trailer off. But you can't do that with a weight distribution hitch because as you raise the coupler, all of the weight stays here engaged on the spring arms and you can't move them off the spring arms. The trick to get around that is you leave the coupler coupled. You leave the, the tow vehicle and the trailer hooked together and you use the tongue jack to bring them up, take the weight off the weight distribution hitch and change the angle that you have between the trailer frame and the spring arms here. Well, we're going to show you how to do that. Now this is your first time, this might seem a little bit unusual, but it's all right to raise this up quite a ways. The whole goal is to get this spring arm loose enough that you can pull it off this L bracket. Now we can see that it's come loose. I'm gonna take our L pin out. And we can disengage the spring arm and then we'll lower it back down. Now we have both spring arms off the L brackets and it shouldn't be too hard to pull those off of there if you have the trailer raised up enough. There should still be some resistance back in the head of the equalizer hitch. That's the integrated sway control that's working for you. But it shouldn't be impossible to pull it off of the L bracket. If that's the case, just simply raise the tongue of the trailer and the tow vehicle up together a little bit farther until it loosens up and you can pull it away from the L bracket. Now the next step is to lower the weight of the trailer back onto the hitch ball so that you can release the coupler. You only need to come down far enough that the latch will release. Now the operation is basically the same as if you were towing with a ball mount. All you need to do is raise the trailer up off the hitch ball. So use the tongue jack to do the work for you. Now let's go through the process of hitching up, which is essentially the same as unhitching the trailer, but the steps are done in reverse. So say we're ready to take it out for our first camping trip. We've got it all loaded. We back the tra truck up Make sure that we get the hitch ball underneath the coupler and we've got our spring arms in place. Now we're just gonna lower the weight of the tongue down onto the hitch ball far enough that we can couple the trailer latch. So we engage the coupler latch and now we are going to raise both the tongue of the trailer and the tow vehicle. What we're trying to do is accomplish the distance between the end of the spring arm here and the top of the L bracket. That's the distance that determines the amount of weight distribution that you're getting out of the hitch. So we'll simply leave it coupled and use the tongue jack to do the work for us. And 
Now, we simply swing the spring arm into place. Engage the L-pin. We'll do that on both sides. We'll lower the weight back down and we'll be ready to tow. And once in a while you might find that you are at a camp spot or, or somewhere where you're not quite able to get the jack to raise the tow vehicle and the trailer up high enough to engage the spring arms. In that case, use your snap-up lever. This comes with your hitch. The small point here rests in the square hole where the L-pin engages and then you use this part of the curve back here to grab the spring arm and lever it up into place. That just gives you a little bit of added leverage. The way that you do that is put that here, raise it up, and drop it into place. Now don't worry about that sound. That's pretty typical. Everything's fine. Engage your L-bracket or L-pin and you're ready to go. Now we've got both spring arms engaged, both L-pins in place. We've got the weight distribution ready to go. The next step is to retract the jack, lower all of the tongue weight down onto the tow vehicle. That's all there is to it. You're hitched up, ready to go. Make sure that you put your uh, trailer plug in, your safety brake on, your safety chains in, and unchalk your trailers. Your couple is ready to go, and uh, you're ready to tow. Thanks for taking a few minutes to watch the video with us today. Hope that makes it easier to hitch and unhitch your equalizer hitch. And uh, make sure that you Subscribe to our channel. You can see the other videos that we do and get notifications of the new ones as we post them. And follow us on our social media pages. Like us and we'll keep in contact with you there. There's great content. We'll notify you of some fun prizes and giveaways. Thanks for watching. Hitch and unhitch your equalizer hitch, hitch and unhitch your equalizer hitch, hitch and unhitch your equalizer hitch, hitch and